Hi everyone, back here for another video. In my previous videos about my iPad mini 6, I mentioned my main reason why I got this is to use it for my digital journal and also so I can easily carry it when I go to the office. So even though I use this mostly for journaling, I can use this mini device in many ways and be productive and not so productive. The iPad mini cannot be a laptop or desktop replacement because it's too small, but let's see how I can make the most out of it, and maybe I can make it as a laptop or a desktop? Let's see how. First, I can use the iPad mini kind of like a laptop, meaning literally using it on my lap. I can do this in a very unconventional way and quite far from how a laptop looks like, and that is by pairing the iPad mini 6 with my Logitech K480 keyboard. With the built-in dock of the K480, I can put the Mini in and start typing away. The iPad Mini 6 can fit in the dock with or without the case. Once in the dock, I can then easily use this on my lap. I can also do some light writing with the Apple Pencil while it's in the dock. This is not really a laptop replacement because personally, I won't go out and take my Logitech K480 with me. So if I need to go out and have to take a keyboard, I would most likely take my Logitech K380 instead because of the compact size and it's easier to carry around. The second way I can do to make the most out of my iPad mini 6 is to use it on my desk with this stand. This is the Moft float stand and Moft sent this over along with the other accessories. Check out my other video where I talked about this. And since I don't have a snap case for the iPad mini 6, what I did was to put this magnetic patch at the back of the iPad mini so I can attach it to the stand. The stand is quite small and low, but it's better to have this than without it. I can maybe put a few books or boxes, and this will make it in a much comfortable way to type and do more work. Then I pair this up with my recent favorite keyboard, which is the Logitech MX Keys Mini. And the best mouse to use with an iPad in my opinion is the Magic Mouse, which I'll use it together with the Logitech MX Keys Mini. I prefer to use the mouse when I have the iPad mini on this moth stand because if I use the touch screen with the stand, it will wobble a lot, and I mean a lot. I can position the iPad on portrait mode to have more screen real estate, and also if I want to do some writing with my Apple Pencil, I can fold the stand a bit and now I have a good angle to do some writing. And recently when I work and I do my notes and I journal, I've been using it in this position. I can switch this to landscape mode to watch some videos if I want to take a break from being productive and unwind a bit. And surprisingly enough, the liquid retina display of the iPad mini 6 makes me enjoy watching videos. The speakers can get really pretty loud too. We're so excited to introduce an all new MacBook Air completely redesigned around M2. And here it is. Another thing I do when in landscape mode, and this I do a lot, is when I want to do some multitasking. Let's say I watch a YouTube video where I try to learn something and then I have the notes app on the other side. And I can also have a slide over screen, which most of the time is a calculator just ready to be used. 
The landscape position is also better if I want to connect the iPad Mini 6 to an external monitor. So this brings me to my next setup to try to make the most out of my iPad Mini 6. I can connect this to my BenQ GW2780 27-inch monitor. And this doesn't have the USB-C or Thunderbolt connection, so I have to use a USB-C to HDMI adapter where I connect the HDMI cable to the monitor and then I can connect the USB-C to the iPad. I downloaded the iPadOS 16 public beta here on my iPad Mini 6. If you want a video about it, let me know in the comment section down below. So even if I downloaded the iPadOS 16 public beta here, since the iPad Mini 6 does not use the M1 chip, I still have the black bars on the sides. So Stage Manager will not work on the Mini. Anyway, I have a 27-inch monitor here, so the iPad Mini becomes bigger when I connect it to this monitor. I can also use the Shift Screen Forex app here to do a full screen display on the monitor. Check out my other video where I showed step-by-step -step details how I use the Shift Screen Forex app. I can dim the display brightness from the iPad Control Center and change it to the lowest brightness and this won't impact the brightness coming out of the monitor. As for the audio, when connected to the monitor, if your monitor does not have built-in speakers, then I believe there will be no sound at all. Since the iPad's audio when connected by HDMI and I guess USB-C 2 will come out of the monitor's speakers. The volume control cannot be adjusted from the iPad nor from the keyboard, so it has to be adjusted from the monitor's control panel. Alternatively, I can connect my Bluetooth speaker to the iPad Mini 6 and I can change the volume through the control center, the Bluetooth speaker itself, or from the keyboard's media control. I can also do video editing on my iPad Mini 6 since the editing apps I use are, well, all available in my iPads, so what I use on my iPad Pro, I can use it here on my iPad Mini 6. And for sure, it's much more convenient to edit videos when connected to the monitor just because everything is bigger. <laughs> for photo editing, I am a very amateur and a small YouTuber, so don't expect much. I use the editing option in the Photos app and nothing really special. And see, it's very a beginner way to do it. And I think for YouTube thumbnails and my basic Instagram posts, I can get away with just this. Sometimes I use another app called Sketchbook and I use this for drawing, but I can also do photo editing here when I need to erase something, clean up something in the photo, or change and adjust some of the positions, add text, all this stuff. So these are the different productive and not so productive ways I can do with my iPad mini 6. It's definitely a mini device, but it looks like I can do a lot more with it, but will surely need some supporting accessories. I would love to hear if any one of you used the iPad mini 6 in somehow similar ways, share it in the comment section. So that's it, thanks for watching.